Hello everybody, uh, this is Zachary Knight again with Divine Knight Gaming. I'm here to show you a couple of new features with Demon's Hex. Um, I added a few things and I wanted to show them off in a video because that's what something I thought was really cool. Alright, so um, first things first, uh, you, you can see here we've got what I call a dice test. Um, what I wanted to do in Demon's Hex was add some, you know, some, some way of showing the random choices that the game makes like you know who goes first in a battle or I added the ability where or added a feature where if two tokens go uh, go to battle at each other and they have the same power you know it would randomly choose it so I put together a dice test to kinda test out the animations to see if they work um, and uh, you know and, and make sure that I, I could get this going so so is it more of like a dial or a spinner than a dice? So you'll you'll see what this is. This one here is for for the turn order. So when you start a match, it randomly picks which turn you go. So you know it spins and it picks. So like the enemy would go first. Click it again. And we'll see here. And the enemy goes first again. Yes, sometimes the player gets to go first, see? Alright, and then I also had um some for you know when the player is attacking so this is when um, the token I just played their attack is equal to the token they're going up against attack so they have two arrows pointing at each other so this would spin and it would pick and with this one because I'm the attacker I have the slight advantage so I've got four spots that uh, could go in my favor and two that go in the enemy's favor now if your attack goes against an even defense the enemy has the slight advantage, so four for the enemy, two for you. And uh, I also put together some for when the enemy's playing their turn, they have the same ratio in attack and defense as the player does when when it's their turn. And then I put these two together, which just kind of show, you know, maybe I want to switch it to where it's just fully even, but uh, you know, th this is just something I put in because you know there might be a case where I want to use this animation I just haven't figured out that chance yet or figured out when I would use that if I ever will it but it's there in case I need it so that's just kind of an idea of, of something that uh, I was working on um, but here uh, the new features you know you just saw the spinner that picked uh, the first person to go and then there's also a new feature which uh, which Right here are walls in between the uh, in between certain spaces, and what these walls do is they prevent two tokens from attacking each other in these spaces. And uh, you know the enemy didn't play nice, so I can't show you that right away. But what I can do is I can attack, and here we go. Here's one right here where if I were to play, say, this one right here. I wouldn't be able to attack this token even though I could capture it if if that wall weren't there so I drop it see I can't attack and so that that's how the walls work the walls are just kind of there you can use them strategically to block um, you know certain tokens from getting attacked uh, too easy or you can use it as or they're there to kind of frustrate your strategy so we're going to play and and just kind of, oh, I forgot that's, that was a bad move on my part. I'm probably going to lose this one. You never know. And, uh, nope, I managed to win. All right, so that, those are the new features uh, for the game. Um, oh, <laughs> except for this, I have also added a, you know, a simple win screen, lose screen, draw, and even a perfect one. So if you manage to capture every token on the board, there's a perfect. Um... So this is just something simpler. I'm going to be adding more features to this uh, when when uh, when when it's uh, when I'm ready. But uh, you know we'll uh, play through one more match and we'll we'll see how it goes here. Um, all right, there's a good spot, and the enemy is going to be annoying. And so we're gonna I'm going to show off this thing over here. This one uh, it, you know it's supposed to spin, but I haven't gotten it working, and I want it to be more closer to where the battle actually happens so maybe like between or on top of um, but I haven't gotten the spinning to work because it for some reason it doesn't and it ends up 
going uh, into um, an endless loop. So I'm going to drop this guy here, and because the attack is the same and they have two arrows facing each other, it's going to display which of these tokens wins. So I drop it, and see, so you look here, there's that arrow, and that shows that I captured it. So now I'm going to finish this up, and that's not going to work there. <laughs> so we're going to drop it here, and see here, this is going to kind of make things interesting, because I can't attack this token, because that one won't attack that direction, and neither will this one. So I'm going to have to play this here, and now I'm just going to play to win here and there we go so I won uh, so those are the new features I hope you like them and uh, check out the next video